Good morning everyone, today we're testing a compact camera in photography. Is it any good or should you never ever consider it? Let's go! All right guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Let me know right now. Do you think we can get good shots with a compact camera as good as on the full frame? I want to know what you think because wow, I'm pumped. I have this little bad boy. It's a Sony ZV-1. It's just coming out and I got lucky enough to get it just to play with it. It's mainly a, a camera for vlogging to be honest, which is great with the flip screen, the microphone, the plug, all that. That's cool. But I want to know what it's worth in photography because my very first digital camera was actually a compact camera. I took it to Japan when I was just 18. I rocked that camera and had 3.2 million pixels, which at the time sounded crazy. Nowadays, everyone's laughing, but let's try to get a few shots. So if you look around, we have a bunch of really cool locations. We have the city in the background. We've got those crazy epic clouds over here and we've got the city over there. What I'm going to do is we're going to try to get a shot with that really cool yellow line. I'm going to try kind of the autofocus, how I feel about it after that shot. We're gonna try another one around here and we're gonna go in the city and try a few night shots also just to see how it performs in low light and maybe some long exposure. Let's get started. All right, so I know a lot of people kind of think that because you're using a compact camera, you cannot get cool shots or you can't get as good shots. But what I love with compact cameras is usually, and this one has like 24 to 70 millimeter, which gets me some compression. And on top of that, you can also use wide aperture, which is 1.8 up to 2.8, 2.8 at 70 millimeter. So in that case, when I'm shooting here, what I love is like those leading lines. So I'm gonna try to get a fun shot and maybe have a friend over there. And we're gonna use those leading lines really to get to that part and at 70 millimeter where the compression is gonna look dope. We're gonna take two, one super wide and one super tight. Everything taken on that small thing that fits in my pocket. I mean, I'm so excited by that. All right, let's try it. So we have Alex over there and we're gonna take the shot like that. We're gonna take a few. Uh, I think Alex is gonna go on your Instagram. It's gonna look so good. Not because of you, because of the photo. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we'll see how the autofocus is, if it's good or not. Apparently it's the autofocus of the A9. We'll see. Ready, bro? Like, there's this tracking thing going on and you just tap and then it tracks the subject. It's, it's really accurate. Go cool. walk towards me. Look to the side. Look at that Dude, one. It's so cool. I love the shot. Looks great. So let me know what you think of those first shots. We're gonna go and test it out in another aspect, but what I really, I'm, I'm impressed personally always with the autofocus and the speed of those little things. I know it's not like a big camera and I already found some drawbacks that I'm gonna share with you in a second. Wow, the size is literally what I prefer about those cameras. You can have it in your pocket, which means if you're traveling, if you're doing street photography, if you want to be discreet, you always have it in your pocket. It's something that it, no one sees and everyone thinks you're a tourist when you're using those. But if you get a good one, you actually pack tons of capability that allows you to take great photos, in my opinion. And at the end of the day, remember, great photos is not just because of the camera. It's also how you take the shot. Uh, gotta say on top of that what I really love and that's for me as a youtuber I can actually use it also for just taking quick segments if I'm on a BTS if I'm doing behind the seat I can simply switch from cameras or use that one to show another camera and That's really cool. Apparently the audio is great There is a jack also I can put my big microphone on it and the flip screen means I can see myself or I can see friends, right? Hey Alex, I, can I know where I'm pointing which is super helpful now let's go try to take a few night photos because so far the autofocus is awesome. The size is really good. The one downside that I've noticed is that the battery drains pretty quickly. So that's something that 
you want to be careful of if you ever get a compact camera make sure you take at least two three batteries especially if you're trying to go through the day the autofocus is as good as one as on my a7 III and a7 r3 right now so i've got nothing to say let's go shoot inside this is so cool because right now there's like a manual mode i didn't know i was like how am i gonna focus in manual because it's so tricky to get the reflection, but there is a manual mode. And that way we can get something cool with the backlight. Nice. There we go. Neo looking great. We have double exposure happening, which I think looks really neat. Boom. So I took it with that camera. Now I'm going to take it with my 85 just to try. Well, now let's answer the million dollar question. How is the image quality and who do I recommend it for? Is it good for street photography? Is it good for travel? I'm telling you that in a second, but damn, that was a lot of fun. It reminded me of my first day of photography, like getting out there in the street, not caring about the gear and just trying to have fun while shooting. And I gotta tell you, if you're trying to do street photography, if you're trying to be discreet, if you're trying to travel light, this is a camera for you. Any compact camera can be a camera for you. Just make sure the autofocus is great. The buttons have a lot of ergonomics. Uh, what I mean by that is that it's easy to switch things. This one is pretty good. I gotta say it was a little confusing at first. It took me a few days to get used to it. But once I got the hang of it very, very fast and I love that I was able to manual focus also with that. It's not as ergonomic as the a7 III obviously, but it's a lot smaller. It fits in your pocket and compared to our RX100, it has the same out of focus which is a beast like it's insane it's so good but it also has that little rubber thing which means i have a good grip on it it has a giant microphone if you want to do video it has a microphone in plug and you have the flip out screen which is not only helpful if you want to vlog but it's also super helpful when you want to take photos like that for example as you've seen me on the side of the road i mean ugh so much fun like what i love with those cameras is that it helps you focus a little bit more on what you want to shoot versus how you want to shoot it um, because they're with you at all times and you just want to capture stuff you know that's what photography is about it's about having fun it's about being out there and shooting by the way this is way cheaper than the rx100 that's why i think that zv1 is a killer and no this is not a paid review i was just having fun with it now get out there go shoot try something different try something new but stay safe please Everyone eats it. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.